Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Tech Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about knit fabric parameter analysis of a single jersey fabric. The different parameters that we are going to analyze today in this video are loop length, yarn count, wales per inch, coarse per inch and GSM. And finally, a yeah, GSM calculator. It's a tool to cross check how accuracy our analysis is. And as usual, we need to follow our thumb rule. We need to remove all the loose and threads and it, and it should be very neat to unravel the yarn. The first parameter that we are going to analyze is loop length. We, we all know what is loop length. The length of yarn got utilized in the first 100 needles. Um, actually, the, the method which I use for checking the loop length, it's my, my method of uh, analysis. Whoever has their own method of analysis, they can follow. But actually, I feel with this method, I have the very better accuracy. The I used to uh, mark two vertical lines. One is on the zeroth needle, another one is on the hundred and one needle. And to mark the number of, and to check the, I mean, to count the number of needles, I use the magnifying glass for the better accuracy. I'll give you a small video so that you can understand how I used to check the loop length. I use the magnifying glass to check the number of needles and I'll mark, I'll give a special mark for every 10th needle so that it will be easy for me to count or recount the number of needles. And I make two special marking that is on the zeroth needle, zeroth needle and then on the hundred and oneth needle. You can check very clearly for every tenth needle I will give a special marking so that uh, it will be easy for me to count and in, if required any anything uh, to recount one more time it will be very easy now marking is over once marking is done i used to cut the fabric inside the zeroth needle in the same way inside the hundred and oneth needle so I'll get 100 needles. So once if I unravel the yarn from the fabric, it will be the yarn got utilized for 100 needles. You can check now. Actually, I have taken the first yarn. And I have checking the length of yarn which got utilized for the 100 needles. I have kept it from 10. So based on the result, I'll, re I'll reduce the 10 centimeter from the final result. Now I got 37.3. So since I kept it from uh, 10, so I reduced 10. So the loop length is 27.3 centimeter. Actually, we need to repeat this exercise for minimum 10 number of times and average the average value need to be considered as the average loop length of the fabric. Now loop length, we got the length of yarn that we found in 100 loops is 27.3 centimeter. So next is the yarn count. We all know we have a formula to count the, uh, we got to analyze the yarn count. Count N is equal to 0.59 into loop length, I mean length of yarn in meters divided by weight of yarn in grams. So uh, just I'll extend the uh, cut how what we do I do for zeroth needle and hundred and first hundred and first needle. So just I'll just I'll extend the cut and I unravel the yarn. How I'm uh, um, the how much yarn I'm unraveling to check the loop length. The same yarn I'll get utilized for checking the yarn count. So I have just unraveled while checking the repeated checking. I hundred 
uh, I unraveled almost 45 yarns. So the, we all know the loop length is 27.3. That is the average length of the uh, 100 needles loop length. So and I have unraveled 44 yarns. So total length of yarn is 44 into 27.3 is 1201.2 centimeter. It is nothing but 12.012 meters. So now we got the length of yarn in meters. So the next one what we need is weight of yarn in grams. The same 12.012 meter of yarn I have made weighed using the weighing balance and I have got 0.21 grams. So it's now very easy. Just we need to substitute the values in the formula. Yarn count N is equal to 0.59 into length of yarn in meters. 12.012 meters divided by weight of yarn in grams that is 0.21. So finally we got the yarn count is 33.773's count. It is nothing but almost 34's count. So we now we have completed two parameters loop length and yarn count. The third one is whales per inch. It is very easy just by using the magnifying glass the number of whales number of whales that that is present in once one inch we call it as whales per inch in this fabric i got 36 uh, whales in a in a one in a one inch so i have just marked 33 36 sorry uh, that even this needs to be repeated repeated at least uh, 10 different places and then the average need to be considered as the well average whales per inch in the fabric the, the the mentioned the value which i have mentioned here is the average whales per inch in the fabric the same way the fourth parameter it is the course per inch the number of courses i mean the horizontal lines in a one inch so even here just we have we need to use a magnifying glass just by counting the number of horizontal lines so that we can check the course per inch course per inch the even the the reading which i have kept mentioned here is the average course per inch which checked in multiple places almost with the 10 places i have checked the course per inch and the average course per inch is marked here it is 52 the finally the fifth parameter that we are going to check is grams per square meter see in, in many cases we'll get very small swatch from the brand for uh, for these type of analysis in those cases we will not have the sufficient uh, fabric to make a gsm punch in those cases we will use this method to check the grams per square meter so just um, i am marking the 5 by 5 centimeter across all four sides 5 centimeter across four across all four sides um, and I'm checking that the weight of that fabric. I'm, I'll cut that 5 by 5 square meter, square centimeter of the fabric. And I'll check it as point. It got actually 3.34 grams. With that value, we'll just convert that into grams per square meter. We, we all know the size of the sample is 5 by 5 square centimeter. It is nothing but 25 square centimeter. We all know what is grams per square meter. It is 100 centimeter into 100 centimeter. That is 10,000 square centimeter. We know we have the value of value for 25 square centimeter. Just by cross multiplication, we, we can get the actual grams per square meter. That is 136 grams. Now, actually we have checked all the five parameters but as per us whatever the analysis that we do is a perfect one but we should have a tool to cross check whether our analysis is the is perfect or or that needs to be fine tuned for that i have a analysis checkout formula we i call i personally call it as, as a gsm calculator because i keep out of five i keep the gsm as a standard uh, and then balance parameters by substituting the balance four values whether these values if change is matching to my gsm what i have calculated in the i mean the fifth parameter that we have cross we have analyzed if it is matching based on that uh, matching proportion i used to check the uh, accuracy of my analysis for that i use the same formula what we have what we have what we generally use it for yarn count yarn count is is equal to 0.5 i mean 0.59 into length in meters divided by weight in grams just i'm cross multiplying weight in grams to left side and then yarn count to right side so weight in grams that is grams per square meter right as i told i'll keep the grams per square meter as the that is the that is the value that i i'm going to cross check 
ओके ग्राम्स पर स्क्वायर मीटर इज इक्वल टू लेंथ इन मीटर्स डिवाइड बाय यान काउंट इन एन ई इट मींस सिंस आई एम कीपिंग जीएसएम एज अ कांस्टेंट आई मीन द द फाइनल वैल्यू सो द लेंथ इन मीटर्स इट मींस लेंथ ऑफ यान got utilized in the one square centi square meter of the fabric that we need to calculate just to calculate yarn length in meters we for a one square square cent one one square meter is wells per inch into cores per inch into 1550 into loop length in centimeter per one loop since we need it in meters that needs to be whole divided by 100 i'll tell you one by one what it is WPA is the wells per inch. CPI is the cores per inch. Just multiplying these two values will get number of loops per square inch. Since we need it for meters, this one double five zero is not is a constant. That constant, how I have arrived it is one side. I mean, for a grams per square meter, it is thousand five hundred and fifty square inches. Thirty nine point three seven inches is is the one meter. in the same way another side 39.37 just multiply if you multiply 39.37 into 39.37 will get 1550 and we need the since we need yarn length so we need the length we need the length in centimeter since we have uh, everything with that we have calculated loop length is in centimeter so one loop if you multiply that loop length in centimeter for one loop will get length of yarn in Length of yarn you got utilized in one square meter in centimeter, but we need in meters so that we are whole divided with whole divided by hundred. So we we'll get the length of yarn is utilized in the one square meter. Just we are going to substitute all these values here. So grams per weight in grams GSM is equal to 0.59 wells per inch. We have already calculated 36. Analyzed 52 and 1550, and we have for 100 loops it is 27.3. For one loop it is 0.27 centimeter, and we know the yarn count is 33.773. And to convert that length in centimeter to meter, we have a uh, 100 here. So just substituting all these value, computing all these value, we got 46. Triple to four point eight eight divided by thirty three three thousand three hundred and seventy seven point three. So finally we got thousand hundred and thirty six point eight six or hundred and thirty seven grams. But during that five by five uh, square cent square centimeter by with that methodology we got hundred and thirty six grams. So the accuracy of your analysis is ninety nine point three six. so you have your analysis is the very perfect one in case if you found any deviation from here for a, for example for a uh, light weight fabric the gsm difference can be up to maximum to 5 grams so if any any uh, final any uh, finer changes while checking the uh, wells per inch or cores per inch or uh, grams per grams per square meter any four digit five digits with just with because of that calculation also there will be a small deviation in the accuracy level but this accuracy level should not be below 95% in case if you if you find your accuracy level is below 5 below 95% uh, then you need to uh, retest the sample one more time so that your accuracy level can be increased i hope this video very useful and informative thanks for watching see you all in the next video till then bye from your money text guru bye bye